to talk about Brian, I first need to go back to the beginning of my story. Let's start there. When I was a kid, keeping snakes, seven years old, I got my third snake, who was the snake I had for the longest, this rosy rat snake, had from the age of seven years old until I was in my mid-twenties when I moved to Hawaii. Don't worry, this is going to be a quick, abridged version of my life growing up. And then lived in Hawaii for about 12 years, whole hiatus from the snake keeping world, reptile keeping world. Not that I was part of the world, I was just a kid that had a snake. I wasn't part of any kind of world of snake keeping, I was just a kid that had a snake. So let me, let me clarify that. After we had our first son Noah, born in Hawaii, we decided that we we're going to move back to the mainland to be closer to our families because we're all all of us are from here. Hillary's family is from here. My family's from here. We wanted our kid to grow up close to his grandparents. So we're like, okay, we're moving back. And once we got back, I was like, I'm getting a snake. And so I started looking online, which was something we weren't able to do when I was a kid. And next thing I stumble across YouTube channels and I'm watching things like uh, Kevin's channel from Nerd and Mike Wilbanks has some videos up and Mike turned out to be a much cooler person in person than he is in his videos by the way just a small footnote there and Brian Gundy and and snake bites and the snake bites really captivated me because it was like this one was like a, a actual TV show like a sitcom almost almost with characters and segments and very entertaining and really kept my attention and uh, and Brian was so good at talking on camera, just it it really captivated me. And as, as I watched more of the videos, I was like, this guy's name is Brian. He's into snakes. I can relate. And then found out to come his son's name is Noah too. I was like, that's just that's that's crazy. That's too many similarities. I was like, I, I gotta meet these people someday. Not thinking that I ever would. But then that first time at my first reptile show in Pomona, there he was. And I was like, dude, that's the guy. That's the snake bites guy. So I, I walked by and I I didn't go right up to him at first. I kind of walked by, I was like with my buddy Josh and I was like, oh man, I was fangirling, you know what I mean? I was like, oh, this is like a celebrity. You see a guy standing there that you've seen, watched a ton of videos and seen him on, on the internet. And I was like, oh, I was go walk up and I walked up and I just took a picture like a dork and then <laughs> walked away and I was like, dude, what a tool, what a tool. You're gonna be like that kind of tool, is that, is that who you are? I was like, no, 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 I went back up I was like, hey man, I just wanted to talk some more. And we ended up standing and talking about snakes, cameras, rock and roll, playing in bands, all this stuff for like a good two and a half, three hours. I was like, oh, this guy is cool as hell, man. That's, that's great, because sometimes you meet people that you think are cool on video and then you meet them in person and it's like, that guy's an asshole. <laughs> but not the case of Brian. Fast forward to, it was actually at that show that I bought the Queen. If you, got, if you haven't watched my previous videos, I've got this clown piebald female that I named the Queen and I actually picked her up there from uh, Colette Sutherland at TSK. That was the whole reason I went to the show was to meet Colette there to pick up this snake. And that was like the fourth or fifth snake I picked up and I was just kind of at the beginning of, of getting a colony of snakes going. And then I saw a picture of that sunset online that you guys are probably seeing it's like this black background one of the first sunsets that that brian brought in and i was like wow look at that thing i really i really want to get one of those and then i went to go see the price tag i had already been blown away by the price tag on the queen i was like wait 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 why does the snake i like the most cost this much money there was there was no way it was happening so i kept thinking like how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do this hats I'll, I'll just get a pair of hats and uh, it's still expensive. I, you know, I dropped still like 10K. So I hit up Ryan. I was like, you know, I really, I really want to get in on this sunset project. It's a, the most beautiful snake I've ever seen in my life. And I want to, uh, I want to do it. And so he's like, all right, all right. And he, he, he sent them to me. And uh, I quarantined the snakes like I, like I do with all snakes, three months. They cleared quarantine, brought them into the room. Six months later after that, so nine months into having the snakes, I did a uh, video where I was showing off the animals, which I, I would do from time to time, showing off every animal I had, which was just a handful at that time, so it was easy to do a video on all of them. And it, right in the middle of the video, I'm, I'm looking down, and I see this little bubble come out of the pinstripe head sunset's mouth. And I was like, what is that? You can actually see it on video. I, you see me notice it, I'm like, that's not good. And... Um, so right away I make a vet appointment and I also call Brian because he had told me to keep him 
you know, apprised of how everything's doing. And I had been you know, over the past nine months. I'd been sending them a message. Oh, they're doing great. They're eating great. And she was. She had been slamming food and just like a champion, one of the best feeders, actually. And uh, I called them up. I was like, dude, this this one's not a good update. And like, she's, I took her to the vet. She's got an RI. And I was, I didn't know what to, you know, I, I didn't know what, what at, at that point. But I told him, I was like, what? And without even hesitating, the first thing he says is, well, here, no matter, no matter what happens, I got you covered. I'm, I'm going to, I got a few other hats here and uh, I'm going to send you one. Whatever happens with that girl, even if she clears with the vet, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure you get another snake. And I was like, oh man, I almost, I almost cried at the moment because it was like, I think I did cry a little bit because I was pretty shook about, you know, because that was a lot of money for me to spend on some snakes. And he's, he's so busy all the time. Like I, I was, and at this point I'd been re in Facebook forums and stuff and hearing people talk, you know, lots of bad stuff about him. And I was like, man, like he said, he's going to send me something. I, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if he was just talking or, or what, but lo and behold, he sent me that, that cinnamon head and she was basically ready to breed. So it, it kind of pushed me up ahead in the project a little bit more just because she was already further along than the pinstripe was. Oh, the, the pinstripe didn't make it, by the way. She, uh, the, or I was pretty aggressive. I, even though I got her straight to the vet, um, she didn't make it. And that was a pretty big deal for me. That was actually, it was actually a really big deal for me. I think that that single move right there, I mean, how many people out there would have done that? You know, how like nine months I've had this snake. How many people after nine months would have been like, Oh, don't worry. I'll, I'll I'll send another one. It doesn't matter that, that if she died in your care. You know, almost a year I had this snake, and I don't know where. I feel like I've tried to make this video lots of times, and I always just get caught up in my words, just because there's so much going against Brian always, and I feel like I'm getting caught up in it myself, just saying his name which sucks literally i think I've, I've filmed a video like this before and i just i didn't even put it out because i just got stopped on my tracks and my words and i wonder if if brian was the same person he is now that he is and did the same things he does and did and does and he only had a thousand followers on youtube would he get that much hate obviously not they wouldn't have as nearly as much eyes on him and that's really not what I want this video about be about I just wanted to talk about my my positive experiences with him which which have been basically nothing but that and no he's not perfect and nobody is and yeah I've seen him do a lot of silly things and he, he does silly things you can you can I don't know it's so easy to pick somebody apart especially if they put every single day of their of their experience on the internet for so many people to see like you can take moments out of all of that and create whatever you want about somebody. I, I don't know, man. What I see is a guy that really likes snakes. And he, he always has really liked snakes, much like myself. And has basically dedicated his life to spreading the word to as many people as possible by whatever means necessary to convince people how cool they are. And it, and it does happen. I mean, if you scroll through his comment section on his videos, there's so many people that are like, oh, I, I was so afraid of snakes. And then now after you're watching your videos, I'm not afraid of them anymore. And that's fantastic, man. Like that's, that's a really great thing as somebody has, who likes snakes and has seen them so misunderstood by so many people. It's a great thing to see. And now that he's got the reptarium going, having the public come in on a daily basis and getting all these kids stoked on snakes all day. I would love to be doing that, man. I would, that's, kind of one of my goals. I'd love to have a place like that where I can just have the public come in and just get people stoked on these misunderstood animals every day, all day. It's freaking sweet. I just think, I think Brian is such a really great asset to the snake keeping, reptile keeping hobby. And he's been, been pushed away, been pushed away from it by people that don't agree with that. And I'm sure there's plenty of people out there that doesn't matter what I say or what way I present anything, it doesn't really matter because it got set in your brain, whatever it is that you, you want to believe, you know, and whatever it is, is it the truth that is your truth and what you see, you, you can't really change that for people. But 
I would challenge anybody, instead of trying to find all the things that you find wrong with somebody else, take the energy to make yourself the best person you are and promote good things by being that person yourself, the person that you want to see be that and, and focus on that. I just believe the results will, will be much more beneficial for everybody involved. I really like this hobby and I really like the people that I've found in it since I've moved back from the island. And I just want to see everybody do really well and I want to see everybody having fun and doing their best to spread the love. That's really all I want. And I think that uh, if you watch and focus on the good things, that's basically what Brian does every day. If you like snakes and you agree with my sentiment in this video, I want you to do two things. Find one person today and help them overcome their fear of snakes and be kind to somebody. If you disagreed entirely with the sentiment of the video, but you still like snakes, go find one person that's afraid of snakes, help them overcome that fear, and be kind to somebody.